There are at least seven dead, three wounded tonight after a shooting in a small California religious university. Oakland police say they have a suspect in custody. The shooting erupted this afternoon at the Christian school in Oakland called Oikos University. Lee Cowan is on the scene for us tonight. Lee. Scott, this is a small uh, private university that's near the Oakland International Airport, and the shooting that took place here this morning, police believe, was the result of one gunman. They do believe that they have that uh, gunman in custody, and now school officials are saying they believe he was a former student. It started just after 10.30 this morning when police say a lone gunman walked onto campus and opened fire. Witnesses say they heard as many as 30 shots in rapid succession. Deborah Lee was in class when the shooting began. I heard a gunshot sound, like, down, 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 and then up, right after that, I heard, like, one woman scream. The dead were carried outside the school and covered up. The SWAT team swept through the building looking for those desperate to get out. Lucas Garcia teaches English as a second language here and helped get his students to safety. There were many gunshots, uh, probably like six gunshots, so I went back in the classroom and evacuated the students and got everybody out. As we were leaving, we heard more gunshots. A mile away from the school, at a shopping center, police detained a man they're calling a possible suspect, an Asian man with a heavy build. Oikos Christian University, founded a decade ago, specializes in nursing and religious studies programs with an emphasis on Asian medicine. Marilyn Daniels is employed by the university and was still shaking when we found her. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's too much. It's too much. Now, Scott, just to recap, uh, at least 10 people shot at this private university in Oakland. Seven confirmed fatalities so far. Three wounded. They remain in the hospital tonight. A fast-developing story. Lee, thank you very much.